been a regular feature at the Consumer Electronics Show, but this one by Xpen Erot is a special one. To tell us more about this flying car concept, right here behind me, I'm joined in by Mr. Chu. Mr. Welcome. Chu, welcome to CNBC TV. Welcome. So, what makes this car special? If you can explain, and also you are beginning with the mass production of another vehicle, which is a flying uh, uh, one uh, in 2025. So, I'm going to speak to you about those plans as well. But let's speak about your concept car right here. Yeah, this is our uh, prototype one, and uh, you, you you can see it very very cool. This is the flying mode, and the four arms and just like four wings, you can. You can fly this car uh, vertically, take off and landing. Yeah. So vertical take off and landing. Yes, and how, yes. How how high does this one go? Maybe less than 100 meters. Less than 100 meters. Yeah, we hope it's more safe, and more easier to fly, and uh, up, it can switch the, the the flying system into the car, and yeah. then it will become it will become a, a very cool supercar. Yes. Yeah. As I mentioned in the beginning, flying cars have been a common feature over the past many years okay. at the Consumer Electronics yes. Show. Uh, tell us the kind of R&D that has gone behind it and how close to reality is this particular concept car? Yeah, these uh, prototype ones will be developed uh, maybe after the successful launch of we another flying car. We call it uh, uh, the uh, modular flying car. We give a very cool name, the land-based uh, uh, aircraft, uh, uh, the land-based uh, aircraft uh, carrier. Yeah. The land-based aircraft carrier, and I can yeah, see. Not this one is another one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, not this one. There is another one. But sticking with this one, you know, I can see these massive blades, uh, you know, coming out of the vehicle right yes. now. How will it function? Like, will it go inside? Like, how how do I take it out? You know, when I'm uh, flying or uh, driving the car. Yeah, uh, it, we offer two flying models. A mo most First is the, the manual ones. You can drive with one switcher uh, very, very easy. And uh, then if you want more easier, maybe you can switch to the auto, automatic fly modes. Uh, no, no anything you, 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 you will touch and uh, you can fly uh, very, very easy. And, uh, and coming back to the car that you are actually taking to production in 2025, uh, approximately how much will it cost the consumer? <laughs> <laughs> it's not decided yet. Uh, but would, what would be the ballpark range of it? Yeah, this one is not is, is so far, but another modular one, uh, we hope we can make it more cheaper, maybe uh, $200,000. $200,000, oof, phew. So you, you, you want one? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? If I have $200,000 in my account, definitely I would go <laughs> like for you. a flying car. But tell me something. Uh, that brings me to the golden question, who is the flying car for? You know, for a city like Mumbai, where there is barely any space to even park, where do you drive or fly a flying car? Um, I think in a short, uh, in a short time, you can drive in some uh, limited area, maybe not in the, you uh, know, in the, um, uh, in, the, in, the, in the urban area, because too many people are not safe enough, but in some area, um, uh, such as some uh, some uh, summer area, you can uh, drive. Uh, you can drive this flying car very safe and very easy, and know many people. And uh, I think it's, it's it's a very cool experience. So uh, you know, uh, before we wrap, if you can share with us what are some of the key features that will define the flying cars of the future? Yeah, maybe uh, I think uh, a more easier for drive. And the more uh, the, uh, give the most uh, enough safety, and um, uh, in the future, mo more and more flying car will be uh, in the in the market. And uh, I think at that time we will build a real three dimension uh, transportation systems in the future. Sure, all the best for that. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you.